Wednesday. Hello, American Idol fans. I'm back. <laughs> Shakizi here, and you're watching the best Idol pre-show on earth. Yes. Thank you. That was beautiful, man. Welcome back to Idol tonight. I'm season one runner-up Justin Gore, and he went Chikizi, who is What's back up? in the heezy. Yes, now, as we learned last week, your favorite contestants are not safe tonight. Your votes will send another Idol hopeful packing, leaving just four vying for the coveted Idol crown. But on a happy note, you'll see your top ten this summer on tour. All right, right. what are your plans between now and the tour? Oh, man, um, just getting my face out there, mm -hmm. making sure they don't forget who I is. I don't think they're going to forget who you <laughs> is, man. Just <laughs> appearances? Yeah, appearances and things like that. Um, and basically, I'm just going to hit the gym and yeah. get ready for that tour. Get all buffed I mean, up. Yeah. yeah, you know, get, get svelte. 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 Yeah, svelte. Svelte. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's going to understand. It's going to be a busy tour yeah. and a lot, to, uh, a lot to do. All right, let's shoot it over to Rosanna. What do you think? Yeah, in the audience? Good Good. All right, what's up, bro? Well, we have a very inquisitive Courtney here who has a question for or the Idol contestants, what would that be, Miss Courtney? What's your favorite part of being in Hollywood? My favorite part about being in Hollywood is uh, it's just kind of the atmosphere. I mean, it's always nice here. I love the weather. It's not very humid here as it is in Florida. I love the weather. I think one of the things I really appreciate about Hollywood, actually, is the diversity of people. And the palm trees. I love the palm trees. My favorite part of being in Hollywood is just the reason why I'm here. <laughs> being able to soak up the experience of being here. The fact that i am made it this far into the competition and I'm still here. It's great and meeting people and just having fun. I think it's been 60 degrees at least every day since we've been here which is a nice change from the snow of the Midwest. And the ocean and the, and the forest and you just have it's such a diverse the you know the vegetation around here. And culture and food it doesn't quite sink in yet. It's like, I can't believe I'm here. Yeah, I mean, this whole experience of getting to be here and live my dream. That's great about being in Hollywood. <laughs> uh, you gotta love Jason Castro. Now, Jason. you're from Inglewood, so Hollywood is nothing Up new the to you. What's your, <laughs> yeah, right? So what's your favorite part about being uh, in Idol's version of Hollywood? Um, probably, uh, I mean, because, I mean, being in Inglewood, we're not, we don't really have, like, Everything's not that like high class and expensive and everything like that. Hey, it's a matter of perspective, man. Yeah, we work it out though. We work <laughs> exactly. it out. We make it happen. Yeah, exactly. I'm not. I'm not complaining. <laughs> right? But um, just just seeing that other side, you know, because I mean, you watch it on TV. You you might live in the area, but you don't see it unless you're there. You know, you're all up in it. All up in it, right? <laughs> all right, we gotta let you keys go. But if you yell and scream loud enough. <clears throat> I think we can convince him to stay and join us later in the show. Coming up next, David Argeletta gets up. ...take on Saisha and Brooke tonight on Fox. The result show goes down right inside those stage doors. And only oh, Idol tonight can bring you this close to all the pre-elimination action. I'm Rosana Tavares, and these wonderful people behind me are the Idol fans. <laughs> I like to think they're cheering for me, but no, I'm guessing most of that love is for Chikizi right over here. All right, Chikizi, what do you think you miss most from being on Idol? Um, probably, probably the chance to work with like professionals, the chance to work with the band and everything like that, to, to just give them your suggestions and they'll be able to just make it happen right then and there. You know, it's just amazing. And um, it kind of spoiled me. Really? How did it spoil <laughs> Oh, uh, cause now it's it's like I'll, I'll work with somebody else and be like okay, so we're gonna do this with a hip hop twins. It's gonna be uh, more East Coast than West Coast, and they're like, eh? <laughs> they have no idea, but you yeah. can actually do that on the show. Yeah. All right, now here's a, a trickier question: What do you wish you could forget? Ooh, what well, I wish ah, I could forget from being on the show. Hmm. Maybe a song that you did, or maybe an outfit that you wore, something other than that. Are you I'd like all your outfits. What are you outfit, talking maybe about? Maybe a suit. I'm trying to you just know, like you know, jog your memory here. Suit? No, no. I love my suit. Thank you very much. No, um, something I could wish I could forget. Uh, probably during one of the group numbers, okay. dropping my mic pack. And it's on That's the ground, lovely. and I'm dancing around it, trying to get it. And then I finally, we were doing a turn, right? So I do this, I bust one of these. Uh, 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 uh. What? That was a good
good thing you saved it. You saved it. That's yeah. what a true performer does. All right, you guys know the drill. It's time to revisit Tuesday night's idol performances. Next up, we've got David Cook's Road to Hollywood. Here he is singing, I'm alive. Take a walk, you can hardly breathe the air look around. It's a hot life everywhere. People talk, but they never really care. I to, Simon said it was above average, and uh, here's my theory. I think his range was like below where it normally is. That's kind of monotone in the beginning, so maybe that had something to do with it. But I, you know, all in all, I thought it was a good job anyway. What do you think? Um, it's 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 a tough call because I'm hearing what you're saying. It, it was really low. I mean, he has a, a much higher range than exactly. what he's saying there. Exactly. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's the feel he's going for. He's He's a very artistic man, so when he makes choices that other people will be like, why did he do that? He has he has his reasons. He always has well, his he's reasons. He's already proven that he has an amazing range, so, you know, sometimes he can go there. All right, and for song two, David sang All I Really Need Is You, which Simon called brilliant. Check it. And each time I start to think, what it is do you agree with Simon? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, brilliant. what he does, what's so great about David is he takes everything and just, I mean, like everyone says all the time, he put, he makes it his own. He just does that. And he can do that with just about any song that comes his way. He's, He's really a good impressive. arranger. That's yeah. what it is. He's a great arranger. Good. All right, you guys. Now let's go to the fans where Justin Guarini is getting the goods on David Cook. What up, Jay? What up? Thank you very much. I'm here with Natalie. Now tell me, what do you like about David Cook? What don't I like about David Cook? <laughs> Do you swoon when he sings? Yeah, I get the goosebumps and all that. I mean, he's awesome. You and my girlfriend. There's no way around it. Back to you guys on the stage. What don't I like about David Cook? What? All right, thank you so much, Justin. Up next, Shakees is going to tell us his plans between now and the Idol Tour. Plus, see why Randy said Saisha is in the zone.